Hi, I'm Gail from Bernina of Naperville, but as you can see, we're not at Bernina of Naperville, we're down in my basement. And every day after work, I try to make a few masks. And I have to tell you, if you're like me, you're probably pretty sick of making them. Megan from Bernina put together this fantastic, easy face mask. And uh, what I like about this one is it's pretty much just two sizes of material that you need to cut. It's all done on an overlocker and boom, boom, boom. I timed myself last night and I was able to make one of these in five minutes. So let's get to it. Down here, um, kind of a variety of fabrics. So this fabric just came in from Art Gallery Fabrics. We got five new bolts of these really colorful material so I wanted to spruce things up a little bit by using this. So what I've done here is this is a six inch strip cut with the fabric and I have this purple material and then I have the floral material here. So this is a six inch by ten and a half inch strip of material. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be my outer piece and this is going to be my inner piece and just so you know from one six inch strip of two different fabrics, so that's 12 inches total, you can make four of these face masks. So I am just gonna take my pieces and put them right sides together and go over here to my serger. So I'll meet you over there. I'm using a Burnett Funlock 48. Now there are three Funlock overlockers in the Burnett line. There is the 42, which is a cover stitch only machine, the 44, which is just an overlocker machine, and the 48, which does both. So I like to think of this overlocker as a transformer because it can, you know, you, you slide something off, you put something on and boom, you have a cover stitch machine. But this mask is easy. So the stitch that we're using today is the four thread overlock stitch. And I'm going to overlock this. And the benefit of this is that I get to sew pretty fast and it's going to trim a little bit of material as I stitch. But all I need to do is just line this material up with this little blade that's in there and I'm going to get started. And just making sure that everything's lined up as I go down my seam just like you would on a sewing machine. thread over in front of the blade to cut and then I'm just going to do the same thing down the other side. What I have here is what is the product after we finish doing the overlocking stitch. So I'm just going to turn this inside out and then it's really there's no secret sauce to this. We're just going to turn it inside out and we're going to press each seam over a little bit. Just see how I'm getting that, that seam pushed over. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to take more time and care now to get everything pressed nicely so it looks good on both sides. Now I need to do one more pressing trick and I can use my ruler here. And I just like to press over about three quarters of an inch. So I'm just using the side of my ruler there to press over three quarters and measure that. And then I'm gonna get a nice crease. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So here I am, there's my three quarters. I'm gonna bend that over. Beam, just to get everything nice and creased, nice and flat. And now there is a little magic trick to this, but it's a super easy magic trick. We're gonna take our piece and fold it back on itself, just like this. And now that's how we're gonna sew the side pieces together on the serger. So let's go over to the serger and I'll show you how to do this. One of the things that I really like about this is this little bugger can really stitch through lots of layers. And we've got quite a few layers up here at our seam. I'm gonna start sewing just to give a little tail. And now I'm going to 
lift my presser foot up and just get this guy right under my foot there. Because it is a little bit thicker, that's a better way to start with this. So now I'm going to let this feed through. I'm not going to cut. It's going just a little hair away from that blade. And then I'm leaving a little tail. I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a moment. And now I'm going to do the same little magic trick folding it back on itself just like this, and now getting that under the foot again, lifting gently, pushing the material under the foot, butting everything up to the blade, but not at the blade. And now let's do it. Let's go to the design table. I have a darning needle here, and what I'm gonna do with this, it's got a super large eye, so I'm threading that eye with my serger tail, and then I'm gonna slip that right in under the other threads through this little opening here, pull, and then I'm gonna trim them. And now that tucks our little, little serger tail in, and make sure that it doesn't unravel. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side. I'm getting that tucked under and trim, and then repeating for the other side. As we all know, elastic is a little bit in short supply, but I have an endless supply of black spandex don't ask questions. <laughs> but I, I do have some black spandex and I did this trick earlier and on our fitted face mask tutorial. So don't forget to check that one out. It's also on YouTube. Um, but what I'm going to do is take this tube that I made on my serger and I'm going to feed this through this casing end now that you see was created with this mask. And now these pieces, they're cut at, cut it 10 inches. And I'm gonna undo it as you, from here. And I'm gonna tie just a little slip knot or a square knot, I think they're called. So I go over and then I'm gonna go under or over and under here to create that little knot. And I'm gonna tie it pretty tight and pull. And now that gives me a nice little piece to put behind my ear. Now, if somebody has a wider face, you might need to adjust that. So don't forget, we're gonna put this through our safety pin, feed our safety pin through on this end. And I'm just using that safety pin to push. Now, I do have other tools at the store for this, but you know what? I'm camping out here in my basement and this is what I have tonight. So, you know, you can do this with a basic, large safety pin. Now we're gonna, once again, go over, then go over and under to form our little knot. And now you could take some time to pull this knot through to go under so it doesn't show, but if you're giving this away, you might actually wanna just keep it that way so they could adjust the mask to fit their face. So yay, five minute mask. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, don't forget to tune in to our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy, it's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. If you want to see more videos like this when we post them, you click the little bell and that's going to leave you an alert every time we post a video. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you dust off that overlocker machine and I hope you join us for more videos. Thanks.